Yo, okay, so I'm going to do a dating video. I've not done a dating video in ages, like it's been so long, but yeah, I just wanted to um, share some of my experiences. Um, I was literally lying in bed last night and I'm not going to lie to you, it was actually starting to wind me up, like um, thinking about like previous experiences I've had and like recent ones and it's just like, it's just crazy how like hard and backwards dating is in these westernized countries so let me start by saying right i go out every two weeks like i go out every two weeks get my hair done go for a few drinks approach some women and the reason i do it every two weeks is because it gives you more of a detox you save money and you enjoy it more when you finally do do it and it doesn't seem like you're actually just going out to try and get women you know because obviously i like to dress up and i like to go out more so when it was summer now the weather's like pretty bad now maybe i'll do that every three weeks but um so yeah um so basically i met this um Australian woman on Saturday which is the only reason I went out if it wasn't for her wanting to meet me I would have then obviously went out the following week which is this week um because obviously like I said I do it every two weeks but I thought do you know what this Australian woman wants to meet me um and yeah why not give it a try I've never been on a date with an Australian never been with an Australian and it beats sitting in being bored um so basically met her um I bought her drinks she bought me some drinks we kissed um, you know, the date was going fine, but there was red flag after red flag. I'm not going to explain like what issues she had, but, um, yeah, it's like, she had like a lot of like issues, but anyways, went along with it, had a good day. So after like a good few hours, um, I dropped her back to the train station. And now the thing is like, whenever I go on a date now, I would be more surprised if they didn't flake or if they didn't block me, or if they didn't do anything of the negative sort, that would surprise me more than them actually doing it, right, so when I dropped her um, to the train station, obviously she went um, somewhere else, I, I caught her in a few lies anyways, but I thought, do you know what, yeah, I'm in central London anyways, so I might as well, I had to collect a football bet when I won a football bet, so I went in the bookies, what, collecting the money, I thought, do you know what, you might as well go to the bar and approach like some women because obviously you don't know this woman could flake you or she could block you or you might not talk to her again or you might not see her again for a long time so you want to like keep your options open right so I went to the bar um approached some women and it was just like oh I've got a boyfriend na 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 I don't give my number out I'm not looking for anything mind you they're in a in a club basically because the bar turns into a club and it's like it really gives you a realization of what the west is like it's like every time you go out it's either going to be the same thing they're even going to say they've got boyfriends when they don't give you an enthusiasm you know act stuck up or give you a number and then mess you around but the maddest thing is is now even when you get a date it doesn't even mean anything like so then i text that australian the next day and um, she was giving me like blunt answers. I was like, oh boy, here we go again. Um, you know, they either block you, most of the time they don't block you or they'll give you one word answers or they'll just lose interest very quickly. And that's all that's ever going to happen. So basically I've got a date scheduled for next week, but I feel like there's no point. There's literally no point of even going on dates anymore. And it makes it like, it's even, it makes less sense even now that you would go out and you approach a woman because what normally happens when you go out and you approach a woman you're trying to get their number to get a date to either like get in a relationship or have sex with them or something whatever it is you're looking for but the maddest thing is now even when you get a date the chances of it leading to anything is slim to none whether it's you want a relationship whether you want sex whether you want to meet a woman to marry and have kids no matter what your motive or your intentions is you are not going to be getting any closer to success even if you go on a date because all that's going to happen is when you go on a date with a woman she's either going to use you for free food use you for drinks um or like this woman she's just going to use you to pass time that's all that ever happens like these women do not take dates seriously and like i said it doesn't matter what you're looking for a one night stand a relationship or even to see them again and see where it goes once you've met them and they've got what they want they will cut you off or you know, um, you know, something negative will happen, 
like one of a few different things. So it's like nowadays, it's like I've I've got a date a day before my birthday next week, and I'm thinking, I feel like there's no point going on it because what normally happens when you go on a date with a woman? What usually happens? They either flake or they ghost or you don't hear from them again or they play mind games. There's literally no point. So I was going back on my experiences and I was really thinking about this and I'm thinking, I genuinely feel like the only way you can meet a woman and have it escalate somewhere, this is going to, mind you, this is going to sound very, very backwards, because at the end of the day, you go on a date, they waste your time, you go on a date, they don't take it seriously, you go on a date, they start giving you one word answers, it's like, so obviously now going on a date is no step, and I was telling this guy in America as well, and he said, you're 100% right, I was like, you are not any closer to success, even if you go on a date, so all in all, it just seems like a big mugs game, because it's like, you have to go out, you have to get through the make-believe boyfriends, you've got to get the number, you've got to get somebody that shows interest, and then you've got to get somebody that wants to go on a date with you, and the thing is, even when you get that date, and you secure that date, you're still nowhere near getting what you want, you know, a relationship, or, you know, sex, or like I said, whatever you're looking for, whoever's watching this, so I've figured that the only way by previous experiences, because I've got a lot of experiences, and, and here's another thing, I've had like a woman say to me, oh, you're lucky, like at least you're not a virgin, I was like, man, I've travelled all over the country, I've approached thousands of women, you know, do you really see me as being with a couple of women considered lucky, because I don't, and not to mention all of the heartbreaks and all the bad experiences you've had to go through, it just goes to show how it's just so bad in this country, in like England, Australia, America, so like I was saying, I feel like the only way around this and the only thing that would work is if you met a woman who is basically like a hoe, like that's, that's a, like you meet a woman that's a hoe, you two get it off and then you try to get a relationship out of that, you know, and try to change her like in a good way and try to support her. That's generally the only way you're going to get anywhere with a woman because all these women that aren't easy or, you know, they're not going to put out or whatever it's not going to lead to anything because as soon as you go on a date, you're never going to see them again or they're going to waste your time or they're going to do madness because like, you know, that that's it. So I feel like generally, and this is another thing that I don't understand when people sit there and say, oh, well, what is it you're looking for, sex or relationship? Do people not realise that they both coincide? You could have a one night stand with a woman and keep meeting her and get into a relationship relationship equals sex people get sex in relationships so there's nothing stopping you from having a one night stand with a woman and building a connection I mean like I've been attached to one night stands that I've had before you know that I might have probably wanted a relationship with it happened so I generally feel like the only way you could actually get somewhere with a woman is meeting somebody that's that's been around like and I know that because it, that way you could have sex you can build a connection and probably build a relationship or unless there's somebody that's like 20 you know more younger and maybe more I don't want to say naive because it sounds wrong but that generally seems like the only thing that will work like maybe approach a woman and before going out with her flirt in a way roundabout way where you know you're definitely definitely going to get something you know because there's no point going on dates and getting food and then them ghosting you or you're not seeing them again or or it not going into a relationship or sex because then you're not getting what you want. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? So it just seems like going on dates is just a complete and utter waste of time. That's, that is honestly the way it seems, unless the woman is easy, you know? And like, honestly, that's the God's honest truth. Because if you find a woman that's normal and not like that, there's, they're just going to ghost you, they're just going to flake you, they're not, they're not going out with you because they want to be with you, they're going out with you to use you, and if they're not using you, they're, they're just meeting you because they're bored, that's literally it, like, so now it's a thing of like, why am I even going to try anymore, you know, I am generally so tempted to get a one-way ticket to Thailand, just for a month, just to go on vacation for a month and see what it's actually like, because this is horrendous and at, to be honest with you yeah like there's a lot of thing, things that come up on the suggestions like incel videos incel videos that don't identify themselves as incels and I can see how people turn mad like I'm not I'm not like 
joking. Like, I can see how people do go insane when they've had to be dealing with this over and over and over and over. It's enough to drive anyone mad. And think about it like this year. I've been with women, you know, I've had intercourse, I've had dates, and it drives me mad. Like, I'm not, yesterday, it was genuinely driving me bonkers. Like, literally, like, it took me ages to sleep. So could you imagine them poor men out there that have never had sex, that's never been on a date, that's never been in a relationship, if 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 a relationship is what they want. But the maddest thing is, I can't sit there and say, well, I'm lucky. Because I've travelled all over the country numerous times, I've put the work in. And I think that just goes to show the amount of effort you've got to put in to even get anything, whether it's a relationship, whether it's sex, it's horrendous. It is horrendous. You know, I can't imagine how these poor people that have never had sex feels or never been in a relationship feels or never, whatever it is, there, there'll be something that they want to experience with a woman. I'm very sure of it. You know, it's bad. It's really, really, really bad. So now I'm in a circle where it's like the only way I see out of it. And, and here's another thing. It's not even that. It's like the other things you've got to go through, you know, when you be nice to people and you spend money on them and then they ghost you or they fuck with you or, you know, them negative things that only happen in the West. Now, it's crazy. Like, why would I be motivated? Like, honestly, my birthday is next week and I was literally going to go out, yeah? I was going to either go to uh, Liverpool or Manchester, just have a few drinks. But I feel like there's literally no point. Like, I've rearranged now and I'm going to do something else, like go to a restaurant or something. I'm definitely going to do something on my birthday, but I'm not going to be drinking because the way I see it is, what are you trying to achieve? You're going to go out, you're going to pursue a woman. They're going to tell you they've got boyfriends when they don't. They're going to give you an enthusiasm. They're going to act stuck up. Okay, there might be a few that don't and give you their number. And then you've got to text that number. And then what? What are they going to do? Stop replying or don't reply? Or what? One's going to meet you? Okay, cool. And then what happens when you do meet these women? What's going to happen? They're not going to meet you again. You know, I had one. This is this is how mad it is, right? I had a woman that none of you people know about that was only here temporary, temporarily, sorry. And we was like kissing and stuff. So I'm thinking like if someone's kissing you, you know, first time meeting you and they're not really girlfriend material. So went out, spent time with each other. Now she was only here. No one's ever seen her before. She was only here for a short period of time. So I'm thinking, do you know what? Yeah. Let me be honest and say, listen, next time we meet up, can we spend the night together? You know, I said it in a roundabout way. So obviously not as blunt as that. Um, And never heard from her again. So it's like, hold on, hold on. So she didn't mind kissing me. She didn't mind, you know, she wanted a girlfriend experience, even though she doesn't even live in this country and she's going to go back home anyways. Like, it would be different if they didn't kiss you the first day and they actually live in this country. Or even if they just lived in this country, then, yeah, you can take things slow. But, I mean, like, normally when people travel and they go abroad and they're here for a certain period of time, they hook up with someone, right? So, I mean, it's not really ever going to be a girlfriend thing, especially when they live on the other side of the world. So, it is horrendous trying to to date in this country and and what you have to go through and the shit you've got to go through and the stuck up people you've got to go to like you you have to go through that it's like even when you approach women right it's like some of them sometimes will be rude to you like not like and, and it's crazy like why should people have to go through all of that just to get laid or just to get a girlfriend or just to get a that why does anyone why should not no 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 why should anyone have to go through that it's crazy man it is absolutely crazy and like i said then you have the other women that you spend money on you know and then they just ghost you and just treat you like garbage you know i had one woman and you know what she turned around and said to me she said okay well um so what you bought a woman a meal you spent money on a woman do you think she owes you her body and my reply was, I don't think she owes me her body, but I think she owes me a tiny little bit of respect to at least have done the common decency thing and been honest with me. And to that, she never replied back because what could you say? Like, honestly, it is a joke. I am very, very tempted to book a one way um, flight out of here and not know when I'm coming back because <laughs> it's crazy, man. Like, I know we've done videos about this before, but it's like. Is this really what men have to go through in this country? You know, it's it's crazy. Like you, you, you know, that's and and, and here, here's the thing: people think that people go to Thailand, oh, just to get laid. Nah, 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 nah. 
The women in Thailand don't have sex with you and then leave you. They give you love. They give you affection. They stay with you. You go to the cinema with them. You do all of these things that you should be doing with women here. Because women, because people can't get anything in their own country, like even Americans or any westernized country, people happen to go to Thailand now. You know, you're seeing it more and more and more so. You know, you're seeing it more. You even see people that have brought Thai women back here and the people are getting younger and younger and younger. You know, it used to be only old men. Now it's all kinds of ages. You know, and that's how bad the dating game is. It's, it's because what ruined the dating game is simps. As soon as simps came on the scene, because this is how it ruined it. Because a lot of, most people, I'd say about 80% of men are scared to approach women. I'm not in that category. I'm not scared to talk to anyone. But what it is, is, when Instagram came out, all of these people that were scared to approach women started saying on Instagram, oh, you look nice. Oh, you look nice. You're this, you're that. It doesn't matter what they are, average, below average. And what it done was build women's ego up to feel like they're much better than they actually are. It's like, say you go to a gym, right? A few weeks and someone says, oh, look, you're making gains. It builds a bit of confidence. It's like, oh, okay, people are noticing it. Like, it's making me want to go to the gym more and more and more. Now, with these women, when they constantly have these simps, right, that obviously are scared to approach them in real life, um, you know, um, it builds their ego up and they feel like they're better than they actually are. So that's why when you approach them, they say, oh, I've got boyfriends, because all simps have got to do is go on Instagram and build their ego. And build their ego up more and 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 more. And obviously you can't use dating apps because a woman can go on a dating app and she will get 3,000 likes in less than an hour. If you go on a dating app as a man, you're lucky if you're getting five likes. It doesn't matter how good looking you are. So it's rigged against you on dating apps and it's rigged against you in real life. But at least with real life, you have some chance, you know, I... Like I've said before on, on previous videos, I do not speak to any woman online unless I've approached her first because I feel like, what's the point? There's too many simps. I don't want to be, you know, building their ego and stuff like that. And that, and that's what it is. It is so mad in this country. And I would say Instagram ruined it more than any other app, you know, because all the simps went on there and said, oh, you look nice. Oh, you're nice looking. You're beautiful. Can I marry you? And then it builds women's egos up, thinking that they're better. And there's a misconception as well. People think that simping gets people women, but it doesn't, because all of these people that simp don't get women. So it's like, they don't get no women. They've never had women. Women don't like them, but these simps will still lick women's asses. It just doesn't make any sense, you know? And I assure you, I've been with women, and I've never had to simp once in my life. Because I had a woman earlier on Instagram saying, as a woman, simps, I'm telling you, simping does work. And I'm, and I said, I'm telling you, it doesn't. Somebody that has been with women, somebody that has interacted with loads and loads and loads of women, all simps are used as is emotional tampons to build women's egos up. That's all they're used for. You know, it's women laugh at simps. It's what builds their ego. It's what gives them an ego. You know, and that's and that's the misconception, you know what I'm trying to say. So that's it. I am honestly not going out on my birthday. I'm gonna take a break. I I'm gonna stay in now until I'm I'm gonna save a bit of money and I am literally booking this fight to Thailand. I'm I'm done. Just and it will be an eye opener because you've got nothing to lose going to Thailand for what, two weeks, one month, you know, you, you've got nothing to lose by doing it. And yeah, I think it will be a you know, it'll be an eye-opener going somewhere like that and then coming back to England and, and seeing what it's like. But honestly, it is a joke. I feel sorry for every man out there that struggles, Um, you know, especially if you've never had in school, so you've never, you know, had anything with a woman. It's It must be absolutely horrendous, you know. It's it's horrible and it's no way, it's, it's no life for anyone, you know. But like I said, that's the date game in the West and... I'm not even excited to get dates anymore because all I, I know that these people just go on dates to use me or they'll just go on dates to pass time because they're bored. So, yeah, the dating game in the West is mad and the West is finished. It's crazy, man.